Hi, this is Jamie with Compressor Source. In this video, we are going to go over commonly asked questions we get when replacing electric motors on compressors and other equipment. We're going to be going over sizing, technical specifications, and other important things to look for when replacing your electric motor. In front of me, I have two of our more common motors that I'm going to use for reference in this video when going over sizing and specifications. When trying to replace an existing motor, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the nameplate. It will be on the side of the motor. Um, it'll either be a metal tag or a sticker. Um, this is going to have all your specifications you're going to need to know to replace the motor that, that you're needing to replace. If the motor is a factory motor that came on the compressor or piece of equipment from the factory. In some cases it will not list a horsepower, but it's always going to have amperage, voltage, phase, uh, things you're going to need to know to size the correct motor. First off, you're going to want to look at frame size. The frame could be 56, it could be 56HZ. Um, the letters do mean things, we'll get to that here in a little bit. Um, you could have 184 T frame, 182 T frame. Uh, once you figure out the frame, uh, that's going to designate the actual size of the motor, the bolt pattern, and the shaft size. Uh, so that's most important when it comes to the actual physical size. Once you figure that out, you're going to go, it, it, if you have the horsepower, you're going to want to reference that. That's not going to really for sure tell you uh, what motor you need, but it's, it's a good reference. Then you're going to look at amperage. The amperage is the most important because if you get a motor that's the same frame size and the same amperage, it's definitely going to be the correct size. Uh, the, the amperage never lies when it comes to the horsepower of the motor. Once you figure out the amperage, you're going to want to make sure whether you have single phase or uh, three phase, what voltage you're using, whether it's 115, 230. If it's in three phase, you could be using 460, you know, and so on. Once you have all the key information from your motor, I recommend writing it down and then heading to our website, which is www.compressor-source.com. On the top, there's going to be a black uh, header with a drop-down menu under electric motors, and it's going to list out the horsepower. If you know your horsepower, it's really easy. You can click on the horsepower, and it's going to direct you to all of the motors we carry in that horsepower. Then you're going to look to match up your frame size, your, your, your phase, your voltage, um, to best find the motor that suits your application. If you can find a motor that meets all the specifications on the side of your motor and the frame size matches exactly with no extra letters or numbers, you have nothing to worry about. It will be an exact match. It's always best to double check the shaft diameter that we list on our website and the shaft diameter on your motor because when it on certain motors, especially in 56 frame, you can have a 56 frame motor that has a 5 8 sh shaft or a 7 8 inch diameter shaft. But it, if it's 7 8, it's always going to have a letter like H or Z behind the frame designating that it's a different size. But a lot of people just see the 56 and just go buy a generic 56 frame motor and they get, a, get it delivered and it has the wrong shaft size. So especially in 56 frame, I recommend measuring the diameter of the shaft. 184 T frame is one of the most common other sizes of motors that we sell. That's going to be an inch and an eighth diameter shaft. Um, so that's a really easy reference. Uh, 213 and 215 frame motors are also very common. Uh, in almost every way shape and form they're exactly the same they're gonna have an inch and three-eighths inch diameter shaft uh, but it's always nice to double check all the specifications if at any time you have any questions on sizing your motor you can always give us a call our number is 1-888-396-8676 we're always more than happy to help make sure that you get the correct motor for your application I hope this video went over some key information that you will help you figure out what motor will best suit your application. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time.